the most significant game of the NBA season as the playoffs continue. The Miami Heat and the Indiana Pacers on a glorious May Day in downtown Indianapolis. It's game four of the Eastern Conference semifinals and the Pacers trying to go up three games to one. Pacers opened up 11 to two in game three on Thursday night. George met at the rim, Joel Anthony, who came in for Turi after the timeout. What a block at the rim by Anthony. Miami needs something to ignite them. James coming to the basket, and there they go. A block on one end, and LeBron dunks on the other. Well, we know that Miami must get out in the open floor. We know their game is the transition game. Six turnovers for the Heat. George Hill to the basket. And Indiana's missed several shots here that could have extended their margin. Wade's first shot. LeBron the rebound for the Heat. Battier desperately needs to make one. There you go. And he finally does. Shane Battier, who was one of nine shooting the three, one of 12 from the field in this series. LeBron isolated on Granger, pitch to Chalmers, who's free. Back to back threes. And without Chris Bosch, they need somebody else to step up offensively. And Mario's answering the call. Morris Cole, Mike Miller come into the game, along with Udonis Haslam as James. Quick post and a score inside, so there's another inside field goal for the Heat. Running the offense through James. Beautiful finger roll by LeBron across the Well, line. you can't get out of the open floor, Mike, unless you get block shots, deflections, and then also you hold the team to one shot. James on a step back, so many have said LeBron needs to have a Cleveland-type LeBron game. Score 40, carry the team. Right now he's got eight of the Miami 7. Running through LeBron. Nice. Now by George. Almost got the end one. Is it the knee? Is it confidence? Well, we don't know what it is, but it's not the guy we've come used to. James with a block as Amundsen went to the basket. And LeBron freight train down the lane. And coming to the free throw well, line. Yeah, they're, they're trying to do that. It's the third time, Mike. Third time in a row to get him open. Haslam with the putback. And Udonis Haslam, who's really been struggling. Take away by Wade. Lead for James at the basket. And the Heat. Tighten it up to a three-point game. Well, this is playoff game number 100 for LeBron James in his Cleveland and Miami days. Just for perspective, the numbers side by side with some of the other greats. So you see Magic's numbers through 100 playoff games. Larry Bird, LeBron more points. Larry more rebounds on those great Boston teams. Michael Jordan, all those early points he scored as the Bulls were building up. LeBron more boards and assists. What about their record in their first 100 playoff games? Almost goes by supporting cast. Magic's was a little bit better than Larry's, was a little bit better than Jordan's, and now LeBron. But look at the bottom line. Magic with three. Larry won his third in playoff game 105, and then two and then zero. Collison drafted by the Hornets a year there, and then a couple now here in Indianapolis. Joel Anthony looking for some offense here. Anthony's had a halfway decent series offensively, nine in game one. 10 in game two. Nice attack of the rim by James, and they got Hibbert out from in front of the but rim. He was still shooting at 36% from the field. He was getting a lot of shots. LeBron able to rattle it in as he stopped Danny Granger with that quick behind the back dribble. James has 17 of the Miami 38. He has seven of their 15 field goals. James in his way, and a little floater over Hibbert, and LeBron's done that at least one time in every game of this series. Wayne coming to the basket, so he's got a three and a dunk and a couple of field goals here for Dwayne in the last two. Now that was beautiful. LeBron James yelled up, Battier cleared out, and then they ran a backdoor move with Wade running on the baseline. Beautiful pass and look by LeBron. LeBron with the interception like a free safety. Three fouls on the Heat in the first minute and a half. Hill on the take was looking for a fourth foul, but not called. Attacked by James, Hibbert waiting, oh, and one for LeBron, and the chance of the three-point play, and there's the complete MVP package of speed and power. Looking for the call, didn't get it. He didn't get the call, he laid that up really short. George lost the handle, Miami back the other way. A little helter skelter the last minute. James a floater, two of those in this game. Well, he's been able to keep his dribble, and he worked you one way off the pick, and then back again, and then he'll move you. LeBron, a beautiful pass to Wayne. Bang in a bucket. And Dwayne has hit three field goals in the last about six minutes of action. 
How about the distance of that pass? I mean, it's right on the James line. and Wade have all 11 Miami points in this third quarter. Give me it's a four-point game. Well, you like with Wade. Two points in the first 22 minutes, 12 in the last seven. And the tomahawk jam by James. It's a two-point game. And since Wade hit that step-back three in the first half when he couldn't get around Paul George, he's a different LeBron guy. LeBron to the basket, coming to the line to try to tie the they game. cannot settle for the mid-range game or three-point shoot. Wade fell down as he got the pass. Fans wanted to travel. It is Wade, a three in the lead. Wade, pitch to Haslam. On the attack, James, what a oh, pass for wow. Wade! And what a show they are putting on in this third quarter. We're talking about eye-popping passes here. That was incredible. Now, when you survey this, you have to look at it, Miami, and say, hey, no shot blocking out there right now. We got it. That's it. That's the perfect place. As he waits. Barbosa. A lot of contact inside. Rebound for Miami. James attacking Barbosa. Bang! And a bucket for LeBron. 37 in a row. Now that's that's just sheer upper body strength and then acrobatic ability to take the contact. George fronting LeBron. Pass over the top to James. There's nothing you can do with LeBron down in there. I don't care who plays LeBron. Clock at three. James finding Joel Anthony. James on the putback. Oh, boy. James and Wade have scored 48 of the last 50. Chalmers is free. Not even close. Barbosa with James back. Goes at him. James with the block. Once again, runs his man down and gets this block right there. All right, off the glass. Trapping James. Keeps the dribble alive. It's Haslam for a big one. There you go. You done as Haslam. What a quarter he's had. Chip for Granger just hit a three out of that corner. Missed that one. James secures the rebound and gets fouled with 11.1 to go. 17 rebounds to go with 38 points and nine assists. And Hubie, when I saw you last night, you said you loved what Magic Johnson in our studio said yes, yesterday. Absolutely. That LeBron needs to have one of those, and he had one of those. And he just like. The total game. That's why we said when we came on, he needed an all-NBA type of a game. Not just the points, the rebounds, and the assists, but everything else that he does, and then shoot the high percentage. Well, when we also put that Dwayne Wade in that category, Dwayne Wade got off to such a dismal start, you were feeling you know, hurt for him that he had to snap out of it. But then after 22 minutes, he raised his game to a whole new level, and it's just been absolutely beautiful to watch. LeBron, congratulations on the win. Describe how your mentality changed as you came into this game four. It must win for us. Uh, you know, we're playing against a tough physical team. You know, we wanted to get the split. You know, we had a terrible performance in game four. I mean, in game three. So, wanted to redeem ourselves. We played some good ball. You had two days to think about that loss. Describe the type of pressure you felt coming in. It was the playoffs. I mean, um, if you, don't, if you don't feel some type of pressure or you don't feel anxiety or feel excitement about the postseason, then uh, something is, is wrong inside you. So, uh, you know, as a leader of this team, I just try to make plays to help our team win, and we're, we're happy we're able to get it. There was a stretch during this game where you and Dwayne Wade combined for 38 consecutive points for the Heat. How were you personally able to help Dwayne get on track? Uh, I looked for him. You know, uh, you know, the best thing for a scorer to get is a dunk or a layup. And in the first half, I was able to give him a back door right over here, and he got a dunk. And, uh, you know, you just want to see the ball go in when you're struggling, and I was happy I was able to assist him on that. In your mind, how does the complexion of this series change now? Well, I mean, it's still going to be a dogfight. Uh, you know, it's a three-game series now. Uh, and like I said, we didn't play well in game three, but, uh, you know, we, we redeemed ourselves in game four. So we head back to South Beach and, uh, you know, continue, you know, to play at the level that we did tonight. Impressive performance, LeBron. Thanks.